All right, everybody, welcome back to the shop today. Uh, today we are working on a 2004 F-250 Super Duty Power Stroke Diesel. Uh, putting new um, front hubs on it, wheel bearings are going bad in it. So we're going to get that on video today and uh, show you how to do it. All right, if that's something that uh, sounds interesting to you, stick around. If you uh, like the content, hit that subscribe button. If not, hit the thumbs down. All right, see you in the video. Next we're going to remove, there should be four bolts on the back here holding this hub on. I actually think they're nuts and I think these are studs, if I recall. And this whole hub assembly should come off. We've got a snap ring in here we have to remove. There we go. Then a metal washer, some type of fiber washer, and another metal washer there. So we're just going to unbolt the hub now. Oh, yeah. You can hear that. Alright, so what we're doing here. I don't know if you can see this, but four nuts back there. Um, those are what we're going to remove here and allow this hub assembly to slide out here. So uh, if you get easier access here, it's easy if you, easier if you turn the steering in each direction. You can either remove the steering knuckle or this um, tie rod here at the steering knuckle. Um, and then you'll be able to, you know, steer the, move the knuckle around any way you want it, or you can move it and, you know, change the steering wheel in the vehicle, turn the steering wheel. So 21. Nice. So now you can get easier access to all these bolts back here, each direction. You gotta remove this 7mm up here for your ABS line. Get this hub out. These are gonna be tight. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get the top of broken free. Oh yeah, she's gonna fall. 
this. Oh, I see. That one's a little rusty. We're gonna give her a little tappy tappy here. Make sure we don't round it off. That one today, the GoPro can't even uh, take the heat. It's overheating. somewhere. Take a towel break. Sweating like a pig. Whew. All right, I got the fan on now. Sorry about the little noise in the background. It's gonna have to be the way it is. It'll help you for a little cooler anyway. So, bear with me, folks. Bear with me. The humidity out here today is pretty brutal. I know you Floridians are saying we deal with this every day. I know. I lived in Florida for a while. But, uh, just got to keep doing hammer in here until she comes off. So, that's what we're going to do. shield here. Be ready for reassembly. Alright, here's our new parts here. Two new Moogs. Um, so the studs don't come in these, so what you have to do is you have to put the studs in. Let's see if I can get them out here. But So the studs here. You don't have to torque these down. All you have to do is thread them in hand tight because once the bolt goes down the back there's no possible way for this to loosen itself out of there the nut will torque everything down on there so you don't have to torque those down all right well we do have a slight problem here these are coarse thread uh, and these came in two different designs and mine are fine thread 
So these aren't gonna go on here. It's not the biggest deal, I guess. I can switch these studs out. So what I'm saying here is these were offered in two different designs by Ford. They had a coarse thread stud and a fine thread stud. I have the fine thread studs on my truck currently, so the lug nuts will not fit on these coarse thread studs that came on these hubs. So we're just going to swap them out for the fine thread studs, and then I can use the current lug nuts I have. Which is likely what we're going to do here, so let's do it. All right, guys, a little update. Decided to drive out all these coarse thread ones. I'm going to put in the fine threads from the old hub. Um, so I'm just going to show you my setup here for pulling um, these back in this new hub here. So, ah, so uh, putting this back into this new hub here. So I'm just putting a little WD on them here little bit into here and I'm putting this up through socket over top with a lug nut and then we'll pull them in that way probably gonna have to hammer them in a little bit to get them to bite but that's how I've been doing it here There we go. Clean this up. All this rust in here real quick. This is just to prevent this rust from happening in here. 
and hopefully help us slide in that new hub assembly. So we're not really trying to fill it up or anything like this. We just want to get a nice coating on there and on the shaft here. There, that's better. Andrew with Blessings Lawn back with you. Show you guys some of these stickers here. Our sticker door. I don't know what ever happened to these Cintrons. They were like a, I don't know, fruit drinks. They were good. Yes. But today we're adding Daily Hustle Uncle John's Caramel Apples Cider Mill. All right. I think Daily Hustle is going to go right here. Try and put the cider mill right there. That's clean, right? This is a shop, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, I like it. There we go. Boom. Boom. If you want to send us a sticker, send us a message and we'll uh, tell you where to send it. We got it on there. It said to spin the shaft back here a little bit by hand and uh, get it all the way in there. Now it's in there. So that's how to do a hub. Alright, that's it. It's back together. No squeaks or anything. 